fire. The Bible says that John came baptizing with water, but Jesus came and he baptized with spirit and fire. We want the fire and we want more, 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 Lord, more, 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 more. everything to him. Surrender is worship. I was just distracted, you know. Anybody ever been so worried you're distracted? Yeah. That's all I could really think about. What are we going to do? What can we do? How do we do? How do we help? What do we say? What do we pray? What do we preach? What do we, you know, what do we do? Because as a parent, who's going to, I mean, you know, a lot of people give their children over to school and churches and babysitters and TV and Xbox and you know they're not taking responsibility but I was taking so much responsibility I thought it was all up to me if I didn't get it right it wouldn't work that's what I thought and the Lord encountered me in the bathroom at the sink and it was very sudden I wasn't praying I wasn't worshiping and he said would you give your son to me and I'm thinking, shouldn't I fix it first? <laughs> As if I could. And I thought about it and I said, yes. And I knew giving my son to him meant I couldn't put my mind back on it. I knew I couldn't put my mind back on it. And I said, yes. And instantly, the Lord said to me, that's real worship. Oh. And I saw Abraham and Isaac. He went to worship. Placed his son. He said, we're going to worship. He laid down his dream from God. An actual dream. An actual prophecy. An actual promise. That actually came true. 
Abraham was so about <laughs> are you Isaac <laughs> or Abraham <laughs> yes Lord I get mad at you <laughs> burn her up Lord burn her up 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 Lord burn her up burn her up Abraham had a promise from God, a real one, not a fake one, not one he dreamed up or somebody just gave him at a conference. We dismantle that all the time, right? Hopefully. He had an actual promise from God that was actually God's will that God actually caused to happen. And then God actually said, will you give him to me? And what Abraham chose to say about his yes was, we're going to worship. <laughs> what do you love most? See, some people, uh, they don't even want to give up their sin because they love it. But then once they've turned away from their sin, they're like, oh, but not my dreams. Oh, not my gift. Oh, not my son. Here's why God wants to know that you'll give it to him. he's the giver of every good thing but to stay in safety we must be more loyal to him than what he's given us okay so right now I feel like the Lord is telling me I have permission to do this in the name of Jesus now this is going to be completely supernatural because anything that's of Jesus is altogether supernatural And so many Christians are in witchcraft now as the church is not offered supernatural power. So I am telling you by the spirit of the Lord, I feel that there is an opening right now in the spirit to look above the gifts and the dreams of the giver and say yes. Hurry. <laughs> There's a grace on it right now. Might not be so easy tomorrow. I don't know. Come on. Can you look above the dreams? Can you look above the promises? Can you look above the gifts? Can you look above the child? Yes. Can you look above the marriage? Can you look above the career? Can you look above everyone? Into the eyes of Jesus. I 
for the one you love most. Jesus turned and looked at people who were following him. Say, followers of Jesus. Say, followers of Jesus. He looked at his followers. And he said, your love for your father and your mother, your spouse, your children, must look like hate in comparison to your love for me or you can't follow me and I really believe with all my heart that he said that because he knew if we love anything more than him we won't follow him we'll follow what we love so every day where's Tiffany Tiffany, you asked me what counting the cost looked like. This, part of it. Because can you imagine, like it's easy to read, oh, Abraham, oh, Father Abraham. Of course he surrendered Isaac. Can you imagine how that felt? Abraham is human. Waited a long time for that baby boy. He had birthed a, an Ishmael trying to get that boy. Now he finally had him. And God asked for him back. And the Bible says Abraham did not consult with any human wisdom. How many people, have, how many times have you run into uh, something you feel God asking you to do and talked it over with your friend and decided it wasn't that big of a deal? <laughs> Abraham is smart. He didn't even tell Sarah. Can you imagine Sarah's reaction? He left early. Not my boy. Can you imagine Sarah? Sarah's the one that talked him into birthing Ishmael. Can you imagine Sarah's response? <laughs> 
answer, I didn't tell her. His love for Isaac and Sarah, that's right, look like hate in comparison to his love for God. That's true. 